Good morning, folks. Welcome, observers. Today, you're going to see something nobody has ever seen. The first real steroid injection into the advancement of solar flare plasma physics in many years. You're going to see it before most of the world's experts. Happened moments ago. As we watch the full last 24 hours on our star, the big picture story is that an X-class solar flare launched from the Northern Sunspot group earlier this morning, and we are so absolutely lucky, because most of the plasma got snatched by a nearby filament. We still have a CME on its way to Earth, but here's some close-up shots of that X-class flare and plasma event. Normally, there is a dense inner coil of the CME and a wider burst of faint plasma as a shock wave. This one just has the shock wave, and that's good because this sunspot was directly facing Earth when it erupted this morning. I hope you can see this unfolding here, but if you didn't, it's way easier in 304 angstroms here and will be even easier in 171. Instead of releasing, something else happens. Have you ever seen one of those clips where some dude is about to punch a little guy, but then a bigger guy comes out of nowhere and catches the punch? There was a scene like this in District 9 where Vickis catches the missile they fire at the father and son in the ship to save them. Folks, that's what you're literally watching here. This X-class solar flare was going to fire all of that right at the Earth. But the big plasma filament pulled a scorpion from Mortal Kombat. Get over here. You want to hit something? Hit me. And wow, the coronagraphs are already just showing the first updated images here, and it's just that wide burst of plasma, the shockwave as a halo event. And it will hit the Earth in a few days, but likely won't be major. There is already one last shockwave on the way to Earth, as I mentioned, from the last sequence of solar eruptions. Noah believes that is going to impact tonight and also should be minor. By later today, there should be an updated tracking of this morning's CME and timing forecast for Earth impact. Right now, folks, there are going to be dozens of papers written about this. I doubt they will frame it as the Earth savior as I did, but I can promise you there can't be more than one or two sequences in the history of solar science observations showing anything even remotely close to this. This is the clearest and longest lasting event like it I've ever seen. The energy pattern of the universe, the helix, the corkscrew of plasma for the win. Sideways tornado vortex around a magnetically levitating linear wall cloud of colder plasma. Some other quick notes, 6.8 and strong aftershock struck Japan this morning, luckily well offshore. The scientists studying solar flare driven quakes should note this occurred during the X-class solar flare this morning, right after it peaked. Excellent new shot from James Webb up next zoomed in to the Orion Nebula. The circled stars are so deeply enshrouded in the dusty material, scientists didn't even know they were there before this shot. I was reminded by this paper of the problems with naming and dating in past geomagnetic excursions. Most of you have been around long enough to know the isotope dating is a mess, and there's also a problem with naming of the events. No consistency whatsoever. Here, we see stuff all over the place. Le Champ number two, not too bad, but they have Michua Khan labeled as Mono Lake. Lake Mungo is labeled as Rockall and about 2,000 years too old. Helena Pauli is pretty close, but Gothenburg is 1,000 years too young, and they're calling it Tianqi, which is actually the NOAA event 6,000 years ago. Folks, this is why there is not global, widespread agreement about what is happening to this planet. No consistency, overlap, or mesh. Lastly, folks, Really trying not to add to the interest in Comet Atlas, but once again, brand new images are showing it is exactly where it is supposed to be. No smaller craft nearby, no slowing down, no speeding up. Electronegativity driven tails, all making sense. I am really sorry if you've heard something different or you have gotten really excited. The internet makes this stuff up all the time. This is the fifth comet I have seen them work like this after Siding Spring, Ison, Elenin, and Lovejoy. This is a comet and already slinging around for its exit back into deep space. Folks, the PDF of our eighth book, the latest textbook, is on sale now. It's half the price of the physical copy. There is no shipping, no waiting, and it's keyword searchable like all PDFs. Link below. And also to this, Winter Tour begins in three weeks. It's five cities in five months and a masterclass in kickstarting your survival prepping for Earth's disaster cycle. Lastly, folks, August Dunning is on his way to Colorado for the premiere of the documentary and the final pole shift conference of the year this weekend at Observer Ranch. There are several other family and social events to close out the year, and those are always when you have a better chance for one-on-ones. ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow.
right here, but right now it's 5.05 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.